All right, what's up, everybody? This is Jude from www.jumprovet.com. I thought that I'd make a short video while driving. Don't worry, I'm being safe. Keep my eyes on the road. But anyway, that I'd make a short video while driving to explain some important things about jump rope that a lot of people might not understand. So what I want to talk about today is tricks or what people call tricks or different type of techniques like double unders, the behind the back, the crossover, crisscross, all the different things that you can do with a jump rope that are outside of your conventional basic jump and alternate foot jump or run skip. And this includes even the more rudimentary, excuse me, the more rudimentary moves like the side swing or the backwards jump. You don't necessarily need to learn any tricks if you want to lose weight. The reason why I like to do different types of jump rope tricks and different techniques is because I like to challenge myself and I like to try to keep jump rope interesting so that I keep coming back for more because I truly do love to jump rope. It's my passion, one of my main passions in life. And doing tricks gives me a sense of satisfaction that I put in the work to practice the trick or the technique and I was able to master it. And then that again allows me to teach it to other people. But if you want to lose weight, lower your cholesterol and live a healthier life, you absolutely do not need to learn anything other than the basic jump and the alternate foot jump or the alternate footstep or the run skip. It goes by a couple different names. These are the only two moves that you need to learn to be able to lose weight, get in shape, lower your cholesterol, lower your blood pressure, and live an overall more healthy life. And I'm talking about this because I see a lot of people get hung up on learning the tricks and they might not be able to get it right away and they get discouraged with themselves and with themselves and then they just quit and that's one of the worst things you can do is quit jumping rope or quit exercising especially if you haven't been doing it for very long if you've only been exercising for a week you get frustrated with the jump rope because you're trying to learn a move that you may not be ready for and then you just hang it up all together then you're not going to make any progress so you got to keep the goal in mind which for everybody should be to live a healthier life and to live a healthier life you have to eat right and you have to exercise regularly so doing a jump rope trick is not necessarily going to help you do that but just simply doing the basic jump and the run skip that is going to move the needle in the right direction if you just stick with those two and if you're not able to get a certain trick down don't get discouraged just stop doing it for a while and then try again or try again slowly but the number one thing that i don't want you to do is to quit never quit especially if you're getting frustrated just hang it up for a second and I'm at a red light now, so I can look at the camera. But hang it up for a second. Go back to the basics. Always go back to the basics. The run skip and the basic jump. Go back to the basics. Look up a tutorial that covers the trick that you want to do. I have plenty of tutorials on my YouTube channel and my website. And then get back to it. And then keep trying. But like I've said in this video over and over again, never ever quit exercising. Never ever quit jumping rope unless you have an injury that's keeping you from doing it or you're very sick and you have some type of physical ailment that's going to keep you from jumping rope. Don't get frustrated because you can't learn one of the tricks. I can tell you right now I'm struggling with a few that I'd like to get down in the future but I don't quit jumping rope altogether because I can't get the tricks right away. So that's just a little bit of knowledge for you. Bottom line up front is the only two moves that you need to lose weight, get in shape, lower your cholesterol, lower your blood pressure, 
the only two moves that you need in jump rope are the run skip and the basic jump that's it so if you haven't had a chance yet please hit that subscribe button you'll get notifications of when we drop new videos on the channel and you'll stay tuned to the jump rope veteran community which is a community that's growing surely on the internet and i think it's going to continue to grow so become a part of it while it's still early get over to the website www.jumprovet.com subscribe to the mailing list every week we drop one new blog post that can help you optimize your life in the way of health fitness exercise and things of that nature all right i just wanted to drop a little bit of knowledge to people who think that they have to learn tricks to get in better shape you don't have to and maybe if you were feeling discouraged because you couldn't get something down right away maybe you're struggling with double unders or crossovers or something that's okay everybody struggles with that kind of stuff just remember what the goal is the goal is to get healthier and to improve your physical fitness and your overall quality of life so with that i'm going to sign off i hope you have a wonderful day jump rope to freedom